What's good, y'all? Welcome to another video. And today we're going to be talking about what's next for Francis and Ghana after the Fury fight. Let's talk about it. So, yeah, if you hear my voice, a little cold, you know, it's going around right now. Client got me sick, so it's neither here nor there, dude. Just know, just bear with me, right? So, anyway, when it comes to Francis, the perfect fight would have been a rematch for him to fight Tyson Fury again. But being that Tyson Fury already signed a contract to fight Usyk for the next title fight, which would be in February now. He pushed it back because it was supposed to be in December, but he pushed it back because Francis gave him that word. That fight won't happen between those two, Francis and Tyson again. So I was thinking, right? And y'all let me know too. There's two people that everyone knows he could fight. And that's Deontay Wilder and that's Anthony Joshua, right? Now, there was some talks about Deontay Wilder coming to the UFC to fight Francis, which would be a joke to me personally because we all know Deontay Wilder's frame, like lower frame, is, is just not, you can't do it, bro. Like his legs is like twigs. If he get in that octagon and he got that weight on him and he, nah, and, and I just say there's no way, right? I don't, I don't see him making an easier transition to UFC comparison to Francis making an easier transition to boxing. It just don't look good for him. I don't think it would be the right move, right? But when we get to boxing, I look at it like if Francis were to go against Deontay Wilder, I do believe it would get bad. <laughs> And I do believe it will get back for Francis because Deontay Wilder only needs one shot. Now, if you look at the other fight with Tyson and Francis, after the knockdown, Francis kind of lost steam. He didn't get the killer instinct. He didn't go for the kill, which he should have did. He could have won the fight, but he didn't go for the kill. And he kind of calmed down, relaxed, and let Tyson get back in the fight and just find his jab and find his distance and... That's what ultimately led to him losing the fight, even though I still believe he won by a little, but, you know, whatever. So that actually brought him back in the fight. The difference is, if he did that same thing to Deontay Wilder, you ain't letting him back in the fight. You're just losing. You see what I'm saying? Because we all know how crazy he throws his haymakers and how hard he throws his punches. If Francis get hit with that, I know for 100% fact he's never been hit that hard by anyone before in his life. He's hit someone that hard, but he ain't never get hit that hard back. So I personally don't think that would be the best fight for him. And on top of that, he still has the reach, you know, um, as a, a, a Tyson Fury. So with him having the reach, but the, he throws his punches differently. And all he needs to do is connect one time. Tyson Fury don't have that knockout power like that. You see what I'm saying? Wilder, it'll be a wrap. So I don't think that'd be the best bet for him. But now we talk about Anthony Joshua. I think that would be a great story. Now, I think that'd be a great story because Anthony Joshua's career really has never been the same since he fought um, Luez, right? His, his career has never been the, fate, the same because he got knocked out. It was one of the biggest upsets in modern day history. He came back, he did win, but it was like his, everything was flawed at that point. Like his, his, his O was gone, you know, his confidence looked shook, like shaking, you know, um, and it just didn't look well, you know, then he lost the fight to Usyk and, um, which he just was outclassed really realistically. He was outclassed to him. And then he kind of had to melt down, you could say, or you could just say he was super passionate about fighting and he just didn't want to lose. So he felt like he needed to explain himself after the fight, whatever, however you want to look at it. But he lost that fight. So he's looking to get that confidence booster again, to get back out there and be like, damn, should I hang my gloves or should I keep this going and get back on the run again? You know, he's looking for that. You look at Francis, He's done with the UFC. He's coming boxing. He had a great first fight, and he's looking to get on the winning board now. He wants a W. Now, you look at these these two frames as well, right? Francis is in great shape. Anthony Joshua was arguably in better shape than Francis, right? They both have bodybuilder frames. Now, 
I could also see Joshua coming to the UFC before I could see someone like a Deontay Wilder, right? Just say if that was a cross fight that they wanted to do. I could see that having a way better chance of happening in comparison to Deontay just because Anthony Joshua has the size and I don't know. I just believe he would favor better in that ring than Deontay would. But again, if we come into the boxing realm, I think that Francis will have a shot, a really good shot with Joshua. Do I think he will win? It's tough. Put it this way. The only way I think he will win is if he learns how to finish his prey. You see what I'm saying? Like, in the in the UFC, it's different. He, he was hungry in the UFC. Like, hey, let me get it. It could deal with age. It could just be different sport. I don't know what it is for him that made him have that feeling in that ring. But when it comes to boxing, you could tell he was trying to play it safe. And I don't know if he's afraid of getting knocked out. Maybe he didn't have enough energy. But in this situation, if he fights Anthony Joshua, he's going to tag him 100%. He's going to hit him. But will he play it safe after he does? All right, let me compose myself again. Let me just go back to my distance. Or will he go in for the kill? If he don't go in for the kill with none of these heavyweight boxes that's been in here for years, they not going to give it to him. Y'all seen that other short video that I said? Like, yo, the judges do not. The last thing they want to see is somebody coming from another sport into their sport and dominating. It's the last thing the judges want to see. So if you're coming into this sport, you're going to have to win twice. See what I'm saying? You have to win in the ring and you're going to have to win in their eyes. You see what I'm saying? Beyond what you do in the ring. So you really got to leave it up to one thing and that's a knockout. So you, you're going to have to finish the job. You have to make easy work of him. Do I think he could do that? I do believe he could knock Anthony Joshua out. Do I think Joshua could knock him out? It's possible. It's possible. I just don't think so because I feel like Francis is more prepared for that. I think he's been hit, and I don't think Joshua would lean, land a super clean, heavy punch on him because I don't look at Joshua's power comparison to Deontay Wilder's power. Like, they, their power is differently. They throw their punches differently as well. And I just don't see Francis getting caught with a super, super flush hit from a Joshua to just be knocked out. But it's definitely possible. But I don't really see it. Um, so that 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 fight could really go either way. I think it would be a, it would be the best fight they could make right now for Francis because he deserves another fight. Like you can't just let him come in here, put on a great fight, lose to the champion who's considered basically the best person in boxing, and then you just say, "Yo, we ain't got no more challenges for you, bro. You good? Nah, you gotta get this man some work, and you gonna get him some work." I think you should match him up with Anthony Joshua. It looks good. It just looks perfect. They look like they evenly matched. They're closer to a, the around the same height. They're closer to the same body frame. They both want a W. They want to prove themselves in their sport. You know, Joshua has proved himself. He, like, he's been the champion. But, you know, he's faced trials and tribulations. His record don't look the same than it did, you know, 10 years ago, 5 years ago. So... I would definitely be interested in seeing that fight. Would I put money on it? Or who would I put money on? I don't know. That's a question to be asked or answered. But I, I, I really couldn't tell you because that fight would really go either way. Because I don't trust Joshua enough to just say he's going to run in there and clean him up and just finish him off. I don't trust him enough. His last fight did not show that to me. Like, his last fight, he was scared. He just... Joshua plays tentative now. Like he, he looks like he's just so worried about. Damn, I don't want to get knocked out. Damn, I don't want to get caught out here. Like it's just like you. He plays scared now to a degree. And Francis was playing scared too. He was playing more reserved. I would say. I don't think Francis was scared. I think he was playing more reserved. And some people might be in the comments and say the same thing. Well, Joshua was playing reserved too. But it's different when you get embarrassed, <laughs> like he did. After he got knocked out, in the manner that he got knocked out, comparison to Francis coming into sport and just saying, that's not going to happen to me. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's a difference. So they're both coming in this, they, well, they would both come into this fight, both feeling some type of way, you know? And, and it's very similar to how they would be feeling. But who would get the better of who? I don't 
don't know. But I do think that fight needs to happen. But tell me what y'all think, man. Get in the comment section below. Do you think Francis would get Joshua out of here with a knockout? Or would it go the distance? And if it goes the distance, we already know who's going to win because we know how the judges get down. But let me know what y'all think, man. If y'all think they should fight, get in the comment section below. Let me know. If you like this the video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this video. I'm out of here. Peace. Thank you.